Hi guys, this is T from Betty and Brenda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making another Christmas soap and I believe I'm gonna call this one White Christmas. I'm calling it White Christmas because it's gonna feature some snow on the bottom of the mold as well as these little snowmen that I actually made from a cookie cutter. So we're gonna see how that turns out. These are gonna be placed in as my embeds. I'll put a video around here somewhere showing how I did that. You'll see it up in a corner. But I'm gonna place those into the snow and then place the blue all around it with some snow white soap shreds that I made and then place or spoon over some white soap frosting on the top and have that kind of uh, not flat, but I'm going to add some texture to it so it'll look like snow on the top. For my white, of course, I'm using titanium dioxide. For my blue, I'm using celestial blue. And this is from Crafter's Choice. You get this from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And for the fragrance, I'm using Alpine Frost. I also got this from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It smells like pine but it smells like a fresh icy pine. Like it puts me in the mind of maybe you're walking through some snow and pine trees are all around because it's very refreshing pine, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And in this bowl, I have my hard oils, which consist of babasu oil, cocoa butter, mango butter, and shea butter. And in this, I have my liquid oils, which is olive oil, almond oil, and castor oil. And I've also put in some buttermilk powder, as well as some yogurt powder, which should add to the silkiness, the creaminess, and, and boost the lather in the bar. So I have everything here. I have my gloves on. I'm gonna grab my mask, as well as my safety glasses, and let's get ready to make some soap.
It's been a little over 24 hours since I made this soap. So let's cut in it and see what we have. It's actually still a little soft. But let's see anyway. Okay, that's my first sample piece. Oh, it looks like it may have turned out pretty good. Let's continue. Get another cut. Let's move this back so it doesn't get caught. Oops. Clean that off. Let's go in for regular piece. This was the first time I made a soap with the cookie cutter in bed. And it turned out so pretty. Oh my goodness, I am so excited that this turned out right. I was a little worried about it since I used the cookie cutter to place the embed inside. But it actually looks really good. You just don't know how concerned I was as to whether the snowmen were going to work right. Oh, look at that. And what I think I'm going to do is wait for this just to stiffen up a bit more. And I'm going to actually place the black buttons on the snowman on the front so that it will stand out even more. And I'll give you a picture of that.
So I'm going to keep cutting this and I'll actually come back, not today, but probably tomorrow once I have placed the little buttons on the snowman. <laughs> cut this so I decided that I wanted to put some decorations on the snowman doesn't he look cute so I wanted to show you how I did that so what I do is first I am going to section off a piece here for his hat using this tool and I actually bought these little clay sculpting tools and that's what I'm using so I section this off and I kind of go in like that and make it a little ragged and rugged so that the color that I'm placing on there will stick. Then I dip this in, make two holes for the eyes, the nose, go across like that for the mouth and then the three buttons I also push that in. So let's begin. Mm -hmm. 